Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Magic the Unboxing and I have something a little different for you guys today. This is uh, looks like a one of those play set gift set things and uh, we're gonna take a look at what this is. This is something um, you know not the usual booster pack or starter deck but we're gonna take a crack at this and see what you get inside this. Uh, this is uh, Arch Enemy Nicol Bolas and uh, if you take a look at the back here, it tells you what you get inside. Uh, so uh, let's see, we got a, it looks like a four player game. It's uh, three opponents, uh, one versus three. Uh, looks like your opponents get to choose a Gideon Jura, Chandra Nalar, Nissa Ravane. You gotta excuse me if I pronounce those wrong. Those, I'm probably totally butchering those names, but um, I'm sure you know what I mean. And then you play with a 60 card Nicol Bolas deck and then even though it's 3v1 you gain access to additional deck of 20 oversized scheme cards that level the playing field. Okay, you gain bonuses, unleash powerful effects as you build your advantage and claim the ultimate victory. Okay, inside you get four 60 card decks each with a planeswalker featuring new art a 20 card deck of all new scheme cards, 4 deck boxes, 10 double sided tokens, a specialized life counter, and a rules insert. Alright, looks like Wizards of the Coast here, made in USA, life counter manufactured in China, it's 2017, and uh, let's go. This is pretty cool, looks like they still put Richard Garfield's name on all their products. You can see that, yeah. All right, let's get this going. I have no what idea uh, what to expect in this thing, but uh, should be fun. It's looking like the Avengers right here. All these people, planeswalkers versus Bolas. Poor Bolas. Everyone ganging up on her. Alright. This is just, let's see the special card. It looks like we're being invited to some special event or something. And nope, okay. It looks like you get these deck boxes. You get Nicol Bolas, Gideon, Nissa, and Chandra. She's on fire. Okay, okay, packaging material, packaging material. Whoa, this is pretty cool. Look at this thing, wow. This looks like it came out from the dungeons. Look at that, 89 life, bam. This is pretty heavy duty, Wizard of the Coast right there. Okay. Okay. All right, back to, oh well, these things are all over the place. We got these decks here, tokens. Let's see how I get this thing out of here. Oh, here we go, okay. Wow, this is the scheme. And the Bolas, Nico Bolas Planeswalker. Mythic, E01, English. Alright, let's go, let's go. So you can keep this thing, put your cards in here. Alright, we'll move that to the side, move that to the side. Got the four decks here. Let's see what kind of cards they give us in these decks. And let's get this thing going. Let's start with the Bolas here. It's a Planeswalker. I'm not too sure I, how I feel about that artwork though. It's kind of funny. Let's see, plus three, destroy target non-creature permanent, minus two, gain control of target creature, minus nine, Nicol Bolas, Planeswalker, deals seven damage to target player. That player discards seven cards and then sacrifices seven permanents. Ooh, that's a doozy. Okay, 
Some typical Wizards packaging here. All right. Let's see. Let me move this stuff out of the way here. Get up that. There you go. That should be clear. Looks like a bolus. These cards feel a little bit thinner than usual. Hmm. Okay. Archfiend of Depravity. I have a feeling these might be uh, part of a special set. Look at that, E01. Okay. Nice fall. Let's just go through this real quick. Sphinx. Looks like rares. That'd be cool if uh, they play everything rare since it's a cruel ultimatum. All right. Sudden Demise. Yeah, it'd be funny they put everything as a rare since this is specially made anyway. Or just put everything mythic, huh? <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. Alright, just going through this as fast as I can. I'm sure there's nothing crazy. That was a pretty cool card. You get all kinds of mana on there. A bunch of these dual lands. And some regular lands. This is just all lands now. Oh snap, look at that lightning bolt. Nice, two lightning bolts. Talisman, Doom Blade, Crooks, Slave of Bolas. Oh, what a hottie. Gain control of target creature. Untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn, sacrifice it at the beginning of next step. Ugh. High risk, high reward. Okay, let's put these to the side. Let's go on to another deck. That was the Bolas deck. Let's go on to the... It's like the Gideon deck. This is what your buddy's going to gang up on you and use this deck against you. I don't see instructions manual though. I wonder how you're gonna play this thing. I mean, they gotta explain it to you somehow, right? I'm sure it doesn't work like a normal magic game. Crown Abolisher. Mentor. Okay, that's cool. Aegis Angel. Sun Titan. Let's just go through this real quick and can see what's in here. Get that closer for you guys. Bunch of lands. Bunch of more lands. Enchantment. Shoulder to shoulder. Okay. Let's go on the Chandra deck. See what this thing got. thing doesn't have that easy opening access here. I'm going to have to do it old school. Woo! Getting wild up in here. Alright, let's go. First card is a Chandra, of course. Just going through this real quick. Otherwise we'll be here all day. More lands. Courtney Assault, Hammerhead, Brute Strength, Sphere, Tormenty, Outrage, Fiery Fall, okay, Volcanic Geyser. And that's it for the Chandra deck. The last one you get is a Nissa World Waker. It's another Planeswalker. Yeah, this one's got the easy opening packaging. Not sure why that one did it. Okay. Keep them off, we're getting to H and Sword of the Animist. Okay, looks like this one's a green blue combo deck, alright. All the other ones were monocolor, I believe. Press the advantage, oh, that's cool. Sylvan Bounty. There it is. 
And it looks like we got the schemes here because I have willed it. Ongoing scheme. An ongoing scheme remains face up until it's abandoned. Spells you cost cost one. Spells you cast cost one colorless less mana to cast at the beginning of your opponent's end step. If they cast four or more spells this turn, abandon this scheme. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming, is this just a poster or? All right, here we go. How do you play this game? That's where it's at. So this is some, uh, probably some good bathroom reading material. Check this out. See how you can kick your friend's butts. Play this game. So these oversized cards. Behold. Bow to my command. For each of you a gift. Oh, how nice. The mighty will fall. No one will hear your cries. Oh, that's depressing. Uh-oh. 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 When will you learn? The last scheme. When you set this scheme in motion, each opponent exiles the top card of his or her library. You may cast any number of non-land cards exiled this way without paying the mana cost. Woo! Alright, that's interesting. So there to go. That's all the schemes you got here. I'll go over it again real quick. If you want more detail, you can just pause the video and or go back. And finally, the good stuff. Tokens. Honestly, I was expecting like a foil card or some cool promos in here, but I mean, it's just a bunch of normal cards. Soldier, soldier, okay. I'm not too sure what the retail on this thing, but uh, looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. It might be worth some value, especially if you can, you know, play this thing in the tournament. If you can, if these cards are legal or not, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it appears like there's some. Uh, a lot of stuff in here. It seems like it'd be a fun game. You can find four people in in your play group or whatever and uh, have some fun with something a little different, you know? So you don't have to play the same same boring old game all the time. Alright, well thank you guys for watching and see you next time.